Welcome back to the broadcast. Did you know 40,000 people participated in the Dallas Marathon last month? And that included some of the top runners in the world. Lucky for us, the winner of the men's half marathon, he lives right here in Dallas. Dr. Logan Sherman finished in one hour, eight minutes, and 21 seconds. And he joins us now to talk about the marathon, about running in general, and maybe some tips on this, you know, new year, new you moment for a lot of people on running. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you all for having me. I really appreciate it. So, okay, you, you finished top of all, all the men in the half marathon. What was that moment like for you? And was that your first win? That was my third win in Dallas. And it was, um, you know, it was such an incredible, uh, such an incredible feat this year because they brought in so many great athletes to, you know, uh, to Dallas. And it just kind of brought everybody's vibe up. And there was a lot of good competitors out there. Um, I just, uh, uh, this was the, you know, the first year I really kind of started to cherish it as we age. You know, you start to, to appreciate those photo. things. Well, That's thank you. so good. Thank you. Now, running serious business, though. I mean, the guys that you're running with, a lot of them, they do this professionally. They are, they're dedicating all their time, their life to it, really. Um, what is that like, being around people that take it so seriously? You know, I, I think it really, you know, makes you consider uh, what's important in life. Uh, you know, I see a lot of patients as they start to get in the journey of running and, and start their first half marathon, full marathon training. And it's, you know, it's just great to kind of ride that experience with them and see them evolve in it and get excited about mm -hmm. it just like I am. So, you know, I think every day we just, uh, we enjoy the steps that we take and that we're able to take. and. Um, it's uh, it's it's great. So, is there a particular mindset that you need to be in to start running? If it's something that you've decided in 2015, you're going to start doing. Absolutely. You know, you know, uh, any any resolution. I think uh, you know, we look at the statistics in 2007. A study of 3,000 people showed that 88 percent you know, failed in their resolution. I think it's the willpower, you know. Yeah. Uh, the brain's like a muscle. It's, you don't ask somebody to pick up a, you know, a, a bench off of one try. You're gonna actually slowly kind of work your way up. And the same thing with, the, with our brain and our willpower, we kind of slowly build up into it and build the strength to, to actually overcome and get into the obstacles we wanna do. So whether that be a half or a full or, you know, something non-running wise. Yeah. Well. In, in, in regards to running, though, do you suggest to people that they set a goal like that? Like, say you're going to do your first 5K or... Uh, yeah, I, you know, I think you slowly build up in the steps. So you start with something small like a 5K, uh, which is a great feat, you know, that, that can sometimes be somebody's end goal. But, you know, if you're looking at running a marathon, uh, you obviously want to start with the 5K and go to the 10K and then kind of work your way up. Uh, you know, I'm in the progress, the same kind of progress to get to a, a 100 mile race. You know, I'll start, I started with 5Ks and I started with 10Ks and then I went up what and up and up. What is the training for that like? <laughs> lots of running, lots of food though. So that's, I mean, what that's you, a nice part. What are you part. running like on a daily basis? You know, I generally run between 10 and, and uh, 10 and 20 miles. It just varies. You kind of, you ebb and flow through the training. Um, but uh, you have long days and you have, sh you have recovery days mm -hmm. and that's the way everybody should kind of proceed with their training. You want to be able to recover from something that you do, whether it be a, you know, if you're training for a marathon, a lot of people will run a 20 or a 22 miler. You want to be able to kind of rest and let your body repair because you stressed it out so much and you become stronger that way. Okay, so for the novice runner who's just starting, would you recommend, uh, obviously not running every day, what would be a good distance and for, for how long, how many days a week should we start? You know, I, I think people need to start probably three or four days a week mm -hmm. and, and that kind of starts to build a habit. Um, and you're looking at, you know, if you're going cold turkey on it and you haven't run for a long time, depending on your fitness level, if you, you do other things, I, I think a generally good distance is about two to three miles. Um, and, and just trying to slowly build up from there. The and don't get discouraged, right? Absolutely. You, you want to stay positive and, and, and just look at every day as a goal. And, and, and every day is kind of a, a hurdle that you're, you're passing. Um, you don't want to increase your mileage usually more than 10%. So say you do 12 miles one week, you, you really don't want to go up you know, to, to 14, 15 the next week as far as total mileage. That, that kind of increases your chance of injury. But, um, you know, I think you need to, to, to absolutely stay motivated and reward yourself, you know, reward yourself for the milestones you make. If you reach, you know, if you go from three days of running to four days a, a week of running, uh, you know, give yourself mm -hmm. a, a good pat on the back, some good dessert at home, uh, and, and enjoy the process. So. And some carbs. 
Absolutely. <laughs> Lots of carbs. Well, thanks for being with us and motivating us to get out there and, and try our hand at running. I don't think it, you know many of us will do as well as you've done with it, but... Everybody's going to do great. When, so. are you, when are you going to stop seeing patients and just run professionally? Uh, you know, uh, I love treating patients more than anything, so I, I don't see me giving that up anytime soon. So. All right. Well, thanks for being here. When he's not running, you can find Dr. Sherman at Reagan uh, Chirosport. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Chirosport Center. Um, and, you know, make an appointment with him, and he can give you all the do's and don'ts about starting out your, your running. Kick off the year socially by knowing where to go. Our Weekend Insiders are up next when the broadcast returns.